What is up everybody and welcome back to the Math Guy. Today we are looking at the commutative law and what that means. So, let's go. Okay, what do we need to remember today? Well, we're going to remember that addition and multiplication are commutative and therefore subtraction and division are not. So let's see what I mean by the word commutative. So if we look at the word commutative, we can see that we have the root word to commute. What does it mean to commute? Commute means to move. Maybe you've heard people commuting to work, moving to work. And what it means in terms of mathematics and the commutative law, it means that when we have two numbers that are added together to equal an answer, we can actually move those numbers into the other location and it will still get the same answer. 25 add 15 is 40. But if I swap the 15 and the 25 around and have 15 added to 25, I also get 40. And that's the same with all addition questions. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 2 plus 1 equals 3. So it doesn't matter which way around my question is, I'm still going to get the same answer. So addition questions are commutative. So let's look at that in terms of real world examples. And let's say we have a bag of apples and inside my bag I have 25 apples, just like we had here. And then I have another bag of apples and inside I have 15. When I want to see how many I have in total, it doesn't matter whether I look at the 15 first and then add it to the 25 or the 25 first and add it to the 15, I'm still going to get the same answer. They're all going into the collective pot. So as I say, 25 plus 15 is the same as saying 15 plus 25. I'm still going to get 40. So let's have a look at multiplication then. So I have 4 times 5 equals 20. So if I draw that out into an array, I have 4 on my row and I have 5 on my column. Let's fill that in. There we go. I have obviously a total of 20, but it wouldn't matter if I got this array and I just spun it round 90 degrees and ended up with five on the top as a row, just like this, and four on my column. Let's fill it in again. There we go. So this array has the same value as this array. It doesn't matter which way around I put the numbers, I'm still going to end up with 20. And I can prove that with written method because four times five is 20. But if I flip the numbers around, 5 times 4 equals 20 as well. So multiplication is also commutative. Let's have a look at examples C and D then and understand why they are not. Well, if I have 25 of something, let's say I have 25 apples, let's draw them. There we go, that is a lot of apples. And I take away 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm going to end up with 20 apples left. However, if I flip these around and I say that I have 5 apples, I'm trying to take away 25, will I still get 20? Well, no, because watch, if I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 apples and I try and take away 25, I'm actually going to get into negative numbers because I've got only 5 here I can take away. So I'm going to have to borrow some apples from somewhere else, or in other words, go into negative numbers. So 5 subtract 25 actually equals negative 20, a completely different number. And again with division, 30 divided by 10 equals 3. But if I flip that around and have 10, and I try and share 10 between 30, I'm going to get a totally different answer. So let's try and understand the difference between addition and multiplication and these ones on the right subtraction and division. Well when I add or multiply my total is going to be the largest value because I'm adding two smaller parts together or I'm multiplying two small parts together to equal a larger value. Therefore, when I add things or multiply them together, I'm always going to be multiplying smaller digits to get to a large digit. And therefore, it doesn't matter which way around those small digits are, I'm still going to end up with the same large digit. However, when I look at subtraction or division, I will end up with a smaller value as an answer. Therefore, when I'm ending up with a smaller value, it's very important which way around I put my question because 25 subtract 5 is a very different answer to 5 subtract 25. And again, with division, my answer will be smaller because I'm sharing my larger quantity by a divisor and therefore my answer is going to be the smallest value. So there you go, that is understanding the commutative law. Have a little go at looking at these four examples and see if you can prove 
that addition and multiplication are commutative, but subtraction and division are not. Press pause on the video now, have a little look at this and see what you can discover. Good luck. And there you go, that is the commutative law. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're gonna find loads more videos for everything you need to know about your age group maths. But for now guys, I'm gonna see you in another video. Peace out.